Hey guys, we're gonna make a 1940 um, sedan, and this is a 1930 body, but we're gonna make it 1940 because that's the year. Now we would like try to make it look as if this is like what, like revolutionary. But no one puts a space frame or aluminum, steel, or ladder. I mean, aluminum would help. Galvanized steel isn't even any better. Double wishbone. I feel like this is just complicated for your time. Leaf springs were like. I guess period, period correct because they're more like coils like in double wishbones came later. Yield. Car. Now, they did have inline fours. No inline fives were there. You can make it an inline six. Like V twelves for like like um luxury vehicles. V eights were more for power. If I remember correctly, there were there were V6s before. Inline sixes, okay, existed. Dual overhead cams. I think that push rods were technology that they had. Cast iron, heavy duty. I want it to be a mix of materials. I'm not sure about cam profile. Naturally aspirated, carbureted, single barrel, barrel, triple carbureted, standard. If it was eco, performance, or single barrel, barrel. That's performance. I want more of an economical standpoint because. Remember, this is like an economic standpoint. Low quality because fuel is trash at those days. Gotta put them. Make them as big as possible. Airflow. So power cannot reach even 6,000. Engine will die. It's still knocking. How is it still knocking? You're telling me that this is just too weak? You're telling me I can't put like this without the engine? 127 pound fuel torque. You're telling me that this and 48 horsepower? I demand respect from this. Okay, so everything can last to 6,000, well, 4,100 RPM, but this can get 88 horsepower, and that's a lot. And to take in that it starts at 100 pound feet of torque instantly, but knowing that this is on economical carburetors, that's really good. Torque is very high for an engine like this. Because engines that did have power like this were like expensive cars. Like 300 horsepower was thought to be impossible at this time. Not much. 91? 90. 
Hopefully nothing is dying. Ninety-one horsepower. For an inline six, that's not bad. But it is bad due to size. It's a three liter inline six. Three liters. One of the two JZ makes three hundred and three hundred and three hundred and thirty-five horsepower, and it's three liters. This is like ninety-one horsepower. Sure, it starts off with great torque. But great torque is not necessarily good when you have an engine this big. Either we made a diesel. Hundred and one horsepower, but I mean, did they even have this technology? I don't even think that dual overhead cams were like invented at this time. I think that overhead cams with four valves per cylinder is more peer period. Period correct. Period correct, I guess. 100 horsepower and 145 pound feet of torque. Let's hear what it sounds like. It feels really, really. You no, know, like. Okay, wait, so it can only go f 4,900 RPM without dying. 4,800 RPM. So, 117. I want to keep the great torque figures. Torque is going down, horsepower is going down, just for a linear line, keep it at 140. hundred and thirty seven horsepower, hundred and thirty horsepower engine like this is very... But change of plans. This is going to be a race car. So we can fit a... What, a 6 liter? Remember, this is a six liter in line six. And it starts with a lot of torque. Now we have made a ginormous in line six with um, economical carburetors. Can we bump it up? Yes, we can. Efficiency is not the best, but it's not the worst thing. I mean, you have a lot of efficiency going on. Uh, starts knocking.
300 pound fuel torque and 223 horsepower. Yeah, seems about right for a 6.1 liter inline six. Like, holy brap. Brap. Look at the size of this thing. And the engine is like, probably like, 309. We're trying to make the best engine. A ginormous engine that wants to die. Can you increase cam profile? No, increase. That's the thing. 312 horsepower. It's close to 313. Four thousand RPM. This is a truck engine. That's amazing. Now, the car itself. Come on, Loden. Oof. Now, this is where things get kind of weird. Why? Because. We do even have. We can mold the body smaller, shorter. You can make it. You. I don't know how. Where did it go? I'm heck of confused. Because of like how like you removed it. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's inside the car. So if we can get this... How, how can we get this inside? Outside? Let's go back, change the body. Change it back. Hopefully we would have a good understanding. I mean, this is super wide. I like how you can like take off it. Take it off. What? They really just... Now this is going to be an interesting car. So low that you can even see the frame. It's like sitting on its frames. That's gold. So you can take off the entire body. So we could have made a hot rod. 
Well, it's more of a racer. Okay, I'm stuck. Clear here. Yeah, take this body. Oh, God. Do we, are we making a hot rod or are we going to make a race car? Because if I remember correctly, race cars had like full-on frame. They weren't about like this, oh it's like gone thing. They were more about racing. So it's time to lower the hood. Lower the body itself. You can make it disappear, but you want to keep it there. And the steel frame is like... I... I... Moss, I can't find... I just need it to like do it all over again. I I hate this when this happens. Like now I gotta do it drag it out. Okay, I I wanna check how wide this car can get. And by the way, this is kind of going to be a brute. Okay, carbon. Oh god, I know. I hate that sound. Black steel. Someone had to enter the uh, place. No, we're going to actually like check. It's going to be a rear wheel drive, four speed on manual. Manual locker, I guess. The engine is so big, it doesn't even fit. But hey, it looks like those. Oh, it's, dang, dang it, it's like cross plies. I don't even like cross plies. Why are the rims like. Just dunk them. They can go to 26. The 26 weren't even an option. These now look like monster truck rims. I'm just afraid because like... So if I had a space frame I could put a rear engine. But you can only put a ladder. Because that's period correct, I guess. Fixtures. Now, what are going to be the fixtures? First of all, this... This whole body...
Okay, so if we took off the fenders, I guess we can live with that. But that's the problem. Then we have the carbs showing up onto the frame, that's the thing. Carbs, the carbs are showing. So I see this is plus visibility. Should be like that much. Whatever, we were like wasting time on that. Fixtures. Next to the engine will where they will overheat. So you see black like it's hard to see. We wanna put like lights or like fixtures. First make everything in like now the frame is like see look at this. You can see like the whole trim piece. And I wish I can just get exhaust tips. That's not period corrected as well. Because it would have been like this. Door handles. Alright. We just gotta make this whole body color all white. So so you can like see it. Now we put these handles, door handles there. You see that's the thing, these kinds of things. Like this body is meant for like a inline four because you can see the body but it looks like the supercharged um, Bentleys back then. Yes, they had supercharging before. Now oh, taillights, did they have taillights? I really don't know. I mean, I would just, just make it the bare minimalistic essentials. Because that's what Henry Ford was. It was just cheap. You get the cheapest out of the cheap. 15 inch rims were not a thing. 20 inch. See, look, he puts 23 inch rims. Like, they never existed, actually. In fact, I. In the old days, yeah, this is going to be like drum breaks. <laughs> Drums just to save me, God, now. And you just put nothing. This is a race car as well. We're making like antique race car. Basic. No luxuries. Standard 40s. Wheel spin. Wheel spin wants to exist. You're telling me that this car can go 85 miles per hour? Yeah, it has severe wheel spin. No, I'm not decreasing power. It's 103 miles per hour. I think 109. 106 is like. This is like an auction place.
We will spin this off two charts. You just have to have like 106 miles per hour. This should go to 109. 106. Weighs 2,900 pounds. Well, knowing that's all aluminum. This is a very heavy car. Galvanized steel would not change the weight. Oh yeah, I forgot the rims. Run like this. Okay. Now here's the problem, we had to find like rims that were period correct for those. Those were like... See... We want like... I should have bought like a pack. I say this looks... Period correct enough. This one is period correct. Wheels are do you like fit like two fifteens? You want two fifteens? I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Right, can be real bad. Because remember, the rims are like super heavy. And chicks, they didn't care how you're going to die, they just needed speed 17 second quarter mile, 106 miles per hour. 238, that's a lot of horsepower for 1946. That's like supercar numbers. 7 miles per gallon. And $16,000, that's a lot of money. What is this? It's going to be a brute. Yes, brute was old. Brute. Chen, not brute. Pun. Ma. Model. B. Two. The model B two. Well, it's actually a B one. It's going to destroy the whole game. How? Well, it's not going to destroy the game, but it's going to be like... A mess to drive. A complete mess. You can see the exposed engine. Just... The backside looks plain. It's all on the leaves. Wait. Can we even lower the car? That's the thing. Can we even lower these things? I don't think so because we're on like leafs. Leafs are super high. I mean, if I want period correct, we're going to have to like swap it out so we can lower the dang thing. Yes, we have lowered the car. No, we got like, we got it like lighter. There, we're not going to export it. It's like it was super high suspension, but this is just something, I guess.
Here's the thing. These fenders are going to bug me out. But anyways, that's really all I have for today. I hope you guys like it, and yeah, that's all I have for today. Alright, all right. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and please let me know what to build next.